Hey guys, this is Karan Birani from Mobi Scrub and in this video we're going to specifically talk about the HTC One camera and the camera application. So the camera is a 4 megapixel ultra pixel camera and it can record videos, 1080p videos, full HD videos at 30 frames per second. The front camera is a 2.1 megapixel sensor also capable of recording full HD videos at 30 frames per second. So let's jump right into the application. Now there are ways to do it. You can obviously have a shortcut on your lock screen or you could just go to the home screen, tap it and it opens really quickly, a uh, very, very little delay. So you've got an inbuilt uh, zoom function. You can also pinch and zoom if you want to zoom in. You've got a toggle for flash, so you can set automatic or to off, you know, depending upon whether you want it or not. A dedicated button to get into the Zoe mode. We'll talk about it a little later. And then you've got a variety of settings. Like the camera settings of most other uh, premium flagship Android devices, the HTC One camera settings are very similar. The only problem is that you really have to browse and scroll through this long list of things uh, to get to the right mode or the right setting. Now for time sensitive shots, this might not be really ideal. Anyway, in terms of options, there's just uh, a whole bunch of those and uh, you know, you've got a variety of things to choose from. So there's nothing that's not there. Uh, for all you know, there are actually more options that you would really need. Uh, you know, you have white balance settings, you have image adjustments, uh, you can toggle ISO modes. You've got camera options that, you know, you can turn on and off the face detection or even geotagging, geotagging your photos. You have shutter options, so, you know, you can set touch to capture. So the minute you touch, uh, the second you touch the screen, it takes a picture. Uh, you can choose to have the shutter sound on or off and so on and so forth. You know, these are just the usual options that you've always uh, seen in these camera applications. Something really worthy of noticing is that you can take a fast HD video. So, you know, it can take 720p videos at 60 frames per second, which is very unusual because usually you cannot go beyond 30 frames per second. So that's really great. Another new settings uh, that has been added with the HTC One camera application is camera filters. These are smart filters, something that you're more used to seeing in Instagram or uh, Twitter. And now you have all of this inbuilt into the camera application. They're a lot of uh, fun to use and I'm sure that you, know, you would find some use at some point. Uh, you know, there are a lot of settings like Vintage, Vignette, uh, CPR, Black and White, just a plethora of those. As I've mentioned earlier, you can just pinch to zoom and take a picture. It's really fast. Did you see that? I just zoomed in, clicked and just took a picture. Now, when I start recording a video, the difference here is that unlike uh, the Galaxy S4 or even the S3 or the Note 2, all of these devices have the feature to pause the video. Here, as you can see, I cannot pause the video. I can just stop recording. It saves the entire video and that's it, gone. I can't pause while I'm recording and I really think it's an important feature. I'm going to now demonstrate touch to focus. So you, wherever you tap on the screen, it shifts focus to that particular portion. And not only that, it actually changes the exposure settings. It adapts to the uh, exposure values. Now, when I take a picture, it really takes it very quickly. There's almost no lag. As you can see, I'm again, I'm, I've zoomed in and I'm changing focus. And then I press shutter key and that's it, damn. It just takes it so quick. Now, this is the picture I just took. It's brilliant. It's a full HD screen, amazing detail, uh, very rich. There are going to be some sample uh, pictures that are going to be posted on my blog. The link is going to be in the description below. Something worth noticing is that while I'm using the camera, it gets really hot. The device gets really hot at the back. Uh, you know, this is not normal and I've used a lot of smartphone devices, but none of them get, tend to get so hot. But well, I, it's probably, you know, heavy processing uh, at the HTC One's processor end. Anyway guys, so that's it about the HTC One camera and the camera application. There would be some sample videos and sample pictures uh, fr taken from this camera. So feel free to browse them. The link is going to be in the description below. Thank you a lot for watching guys and do not forget to subscribe.